Has this ever happened with you? You received a phone call and before the caller revealed their identity, you guessed who it was just by listening to their voice. This just shows how voice could be a very important and integral aspect of one's personality, one's being. That being said, the question to be asked now is, what does one mean by the term voice? We know that when someone's talking or when someone's singing, they are using their voice. But does that mean that only human beings are capable of producing a voice? That's not true. Animals have their own voice. And better even, non-living things are also capable of producing voices. We musicians keep saying this. All musical instruments, of course they are non-living things, each one of it has its own voice. Now, how is that possible? And that gets us back to the question, what do we mean by the term voice? Okay, so the first thing is that voice is a sound and just like any other sound, it is produced when an object vibrates. Now, the second thing is that not all sounds are voices. For a sound to be voice, it has to go through the process of resonance. In the simplest of terms, resonance is a process in which the vibrations, they become amplified or they get magnified or they get strengthened. It's because of the process of resonance that the sound gets its property of tone or timbre. Timbre is the property due to which we human beings can distinguish the voice of one person from another or say one instrument from another. For example, let's see how voice is produced in a tanpura. The entire structure of tanpura is the body of the instrument. Vibrations are produced or sound is produced in the instrument when we gently pluck the strings of the tanpura. These vibrations then resonate in the hollow chamber provided by the pumpkin of the tanpura. This pumpkin or guard is also called the resonance chamber of the instrument. Without resonance, the plucked string would sound something like this. As you are observing, the sound is very dry and lifeless. The same strings with resonance will sound something like this. Similarly, you could observe the production of voice in any other instrument. You just have to observe which part of the instrument is vibrating and producing the sound and which part is helping in resonance. In case of our human bodies, that too is an instrument, right? An instrument that we are born with. So voice is produced when the vocal folds vibrate and these vibrations then resonate in a part called vocal tract. Okay, so what exactly are these vocal folds and this vocal tract and are they the only two parts that are actively involved in voice production? Those are really good questions and we'll know more about them in the coming episodes.